Amigo Hall, and right now I'm standing by with his trainer, Blair Burgess. You know, you started out your career in harness racing, training claimers, cheaper claimers, and now you're one of the top developers of uh, young talent in the game. You had 2002 Horse of the Year, Real Desire. You are on a roll. It is for sure. I'm not usually good with the trotters, but uh, this is a little bit different, and it's a lot of fun. Do you want me to say? And uh, the, the horse has uh, uh, been a pleasant surprise. I mean, he's a great two-year-old, but uh, speed-wise, but he never really showed it till now, and uh, came around on the right day. Let's take a look at the start here. I think the start was extremely important because of the fact that uh, there were several breakers in here, and that certainly had to help your chances. Very important. I think Bebop, you know, I don't like to capitalize on other people's problems, but uh, Bebop making a mistake helped us. I think that's why Mike decided to leave early for position. And when you get a good position, uh, it's a speed track today, I think, and uh, he got a good position along the rail, and I think that helped us later on in the mile. And was it a surprise to you that he went to the lead? No, the horse has good gate speed. I told Mike he could use it if he wanted to. He had to decide at the last minute. We're taking a look, and Mike picking up his fourth Hamiltonian victory. Coming down the lane here, were you a little surprised that Power to Charm didn't have it today, and Sugar Trader also flattened out somewhat? I thought it was a very even field. I thought, you know, come down to trip, and if my horse was right, I thought I thought he had a good chance. Well, your Hamiltonian debut, and that's uh, the way to go out of it as a winner. <laughs> it is. It is that for sure. All right, Blair Burgess, winning trainer of Amigo Hall. Right now, let's go down to Caitlin Bradar for the trophy presentation. Caitlin. <laughs> So I'm surrounded by winners, Gary Tom Charters of the Hamiltonian Society, George Zoffinger of the uh, Sports Authority, our gracious hosts today, and of course the winners, we have Alan Levitt back there, Bob Burgess and the rest of the family, and uh, I think Alan's going to be the spokesman, but George, you can do the honors, it's been a terrific day. Well, Alan and Bob, Amigo Hall ran a great race, and welcome to New Jersey, and here's the Hamiltonian Trophy, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is, I've been in horse racing for 46 years, and this is the greatest thrill I've ever had. And the Burgesses and I have known each other and had horses together for 37 years, so I guess perseverance pays. Alan, you said a little earlier you felt a little guilty being the spokesperson. Why? Well, I've been at, we raised, we bred the colt and raised him, put him through the sale, and he fell $1,000 short of the reserve. So we wound up selling half of him to the Burgesses, thank God. And, uh, I felt guilty because the Burgesses really, they're responsible for him. Blair made him and trained him and got him ready for this race. And they got the drivers, they've done everything to him. And now I feel guilty. I'm holding the best trophy that we have in harness racing, maybe in all of racing as far as I'm concerned. Well, don't feel guilty. Enjoy the moment. It's well earned. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Gary? All right, Kate, and thanks so much. There is a look at the winner, Amigo Hall, bred by Walnut Hall, which now ties them with Hanover Shoe Farms. Nine victories, breeders with the most Hambletonian wins. Amigo Hall wins this year's edition of the Hambletonian. An excellent effort, but a surprise to most, except to track announcer Ken Workington. Big day here at the Hambletonian, wrapping up not only the season,